G'day guys, I'm posting two videos again as part of the Bucks versus the Patriots this Sunday and Tom Brady returning to Foxborough. Just quickly, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. When I think of 20 years in one place, you're right. I know that locker room. I know that home locker room. I know that home tunnel. I know you know, which way the wind blows. I know everything about that. I know the way it smells. I know what a night game's like. I know what the fans are going to sound like. So in some ways, that'll be really unique. I've never had that experience going to, you know, knowing it'll be a first time for me being on the other sideline. So, you know, I'm not going to necessarily reminisce. I don't think this is the moment for that. And I'll have plenty of opportunities to reminisce about my football career. Um, none of it, none of which I really care to do right now because I'm so much in the moment. And, um, I'm not going to be thinking about, you know, 20 years of history. I'm going to be thinking about one night of football, a Sunday night game coming off a really tough loss. They've, they're coming off a really tough loss. So both teams are going to be fighting and clawing for a win. Be your message to the fans as you now embark on going back to Gillette. Well, I wouldn't expect a, a homecoming. I mean, I think they're there to root for their team and their team is the Patriots. And I, I certainly have a lot of, people that cheered for me over the years. I know they'll probably be, um, you know, I have a lot of family there and I have a lot of friends that have wanted to go to the game. They've been asking me about tickets for six months. So there'll be a lot of excitement from them in the stands. But, um, you know, I think the home crowd at Gillette is a great, is a great crowd. And I think they're going to cheer for their team as I would expect them to. And I think if they know anything about me, they're going to know that I'm going out there to try to win the football game. You just mentioned Bill Belichick. Do you still hear a lot of his teachings in your head? Well, I have 20 years of 20 years of, of being there. And you know, obviously he's a great mentor for me. And um, yes, I there's definitely great lessons I've learned from him. And um, you know, he's a great football coach. And and he's he does a great job for his team. And um, you know, any player, I think they would just hope that their coaches gives them everything they got. And I'm sure every great coach wants every player to give them everything they got. And I think that's what makes a great relationship. I've actually prepared a statement that I wanted to say, and it's really all that I have to say on the subject. Um, comments made by Thomas Edward Brady, a 77 year old insurance company CEO who should know better at this point in his life, doesn't necessarily reflect the views or positions held by his son, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. So furthermore, should Tom Sr. continue to speak out on behalf of his son without the express written consent, Tom Jr. reserves the right to eventually put him in a home against his will. This weekend, hello, it's yeah. that video by Sunday Night Football with Adele's hello is amazing. Uh -huh. so I mean, in, in the more and more this gets built up for Sunday Night Football, which is NBC doing an incredible job mm -hmm. of promoting their game, but I don't think this game needs any promotion. But the fact that it's getting promotion is making me realize, I think, more and more, which is good promotion. That's why they're promoting it. Yeah. Hey, this is f***ing massive. Huge. And... Both teams are coming off a loss, obviously. One team potentially has looked much, 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 much better than the other team. Yeah. One team is loaded with vets ready to go and maybe even adding Richard Sherman to the roster. He's currently visiting Tampa Bay. We're all getting this gift that is the return uh, on Sunday. Brady says he's not expecting a homecoming. Michael and I, Michael's, my, you know, our resident expert on all things Boston and Patriots, as I'm sure you know, we have this disagreement about the reception that Brady uh, should expect to receive or should receive when he goes back to Foxborough. Now, I know there are Patriots fans in the stands, but I got to believe, Miles, that this is going to, this is unprecedented. So I don't think they're going to treat it like any old player coming back. This is a Mount Rushmore guy in Boston. I expect them to throw rose petals at his feet for crying out loud, to, to give him his flowers, as they say. What, what, what do you expect in terms of the atmosphere on Sunday night? I think it'll be like you just said. I mean, I, I don't know how you could have anything else other than that. Right? This guy won six Super Bowls for this franchise over the course of 20 years. And like you said, it really is just unprecedented. I mean, even when you know, Peyton Manning goes back to Indianapolis, it's not like Tom Brady going back to Gillette. It, it's just not. I mean, and you know, Peyton Manning was a terrific quarterback. For the Indianapolis Colts before he went on to win another Super Bowl with the Denver Broncos, but it, it's not the same. And, you know, we talk about Peyton Manning as one of the great all-time quarterbacks, but 
Nobody's calling Peyton Manning the GOAT anymore, right? And that is exactly what Tom Brady is. He's a legendary quarterback, and his legend has only grown since he's gone to Tampa Bay and won another Super Bowl. But I, I don't know how you can't have anything but just a wonderful, awesome homecoming reception, despite what Tom Brady says he's expecting. It, it's got to be a homecoming there at Gillette on Sunday. Man. Tom Brady, the most about to break the all-time passing record back home uh, on the road at Gillette Stadium this Sunday. Don't know if you've heard. Uh, I'll venture to say that Tom Brady is the most prolific player in NFL history. The, the general sense of things was that there was no way to bridge the gap. Was there any way to possibly to bridge the gap? Because we're... The, of course the, the, there was. Okay. In, in, in the 2019 offseason, Brady and his folks expected a two-year, $50 million guaranteed contract identical to Drew Brees's. That's what they had discussed. That's what they expected. And then come August, when it still hadn't germinated, and they finally said, you're not going to get that. Here's a two-year deal. Second year is not guaranteed. It's basically an $8 million bump. How do you like that? They could have still been here through 2020 if they gave them that bruise, the breeze deal. And once they didn't do that, the season played out. And when Brady sat down with Belichick prior to free agency, kind of more doing a solid mm -hmm. for the Patriots because he said he would. And Belichick said to him, look, highest we can go on the cap for you is going to be $22.5 million this year. That's it. That's all we can do. And there was still no talk of a guaranteed second year. So, yeah, there was a gap to be bridged, and there was willingness on Brady's part all the way up until the summer of 2019 to do it. Patriots didn't want to believe that Brady could do what he's been doing. You can't blame him for that because no one's ever done it. Mm -hmm. but when the guy's sitting in front of you for 20 years and you still don't believe what you're looking at, then it's on you when he goes someplace else. These two teams are just two men, basically, in uh -huh. everybody's eyes. Tom Brady, Bill Belichick. I think Tom Brady's team, the dudes out in Tampa are like, we got you, Tom. Hey, we understand. Absolutely. We know exactly what this is. We all won a Super Bowl together last year. And all, if we had this opportunity to do what you have right now, we would want to go to fucking, we would, we would hope you would go to fucking war with us. So I think that is a real motivator for mm -hmm. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, yeah. That is a tight team. Remember, Tom was putting together practices. They were coming over to Tom's house. Yeah. They were doing, Tom is the consummate team guy. That's what everybody says. Clyde's like, when he comes in here, he's friends with everybody, his energy, his whole thing. So I think Tampa is like, hey, we know what this is, right? And the Massos are going to say terrible things. I mean, the New England Patriot fans are going to say terrible things to Tom during the game. When he jogs on the field, they will be yeah. nice. I saw this with Adam Vinatieri. When we jogged on the field for warmups, they're it's nowhere near as full, obviously. It's just kind of scattered. A lot of people are like, Vinny, thank you. Mm -hmm. Adam and Terry, thank you. Love you, Vinny. Love you, Vinny. Yeah. Even while we're warming up, there's even like a clap. I think there was even a clap for Vinny hitting like a 55-yarder in warm-ups or something like that. We go back in after warm-ups, and we come out. Vinny, Terry, you fucking coward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was it was the same people that were just doing that because the mass holes understand that, hey, when it's – hey, this is – this is not Go just time, no. this is not just the a game. Arena. Okay, we are a part of this. That crowd never gets enough credit for how much they do affect people. Everybody talks about Foxborough being this place that is very difficult to win and mythical, and it's Bill Belichick effect is definitely real. The fact they probably control the weather also something. Might, might Tom be Brady true. being up there for real. That that fan base does not get talked about enough. They are rude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are loud. What? They are passionate. <laughs> what? They are very confident. And for the last 20 years, they've been able to say whatever they want, whenever they want to, whoever they want. They're like the modern-day Alabama fan for like the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. Alabama could just talk shit because they're like, oh, we'll be in the fucking final. Yeah. Are you going to be there? You're not. That's how the Patriots fans have been. That is a tough place to play. And they're going to make it that way for Tom. But if Tom silences that shit early, I don't know what's going to happen. Would Brady have been able to spin gold out of the straw that was left around last year that we saw i mean obviously cam getting covered and um and not uh being the same guy in the first three weeks was a death knell in a way but would brady have been able to do what he's been doing for the 20 years prior with that 2020 no. team right so so because here's here's the reason though mm -hmm. because bill belichick and nick casario couldn't do as good a job building the Patriots as Jason Light did in Tampa. Some of that's tied to the fact that they're 
drafting late up in Tampa. Some of that's tied to draft picks being confiscated by the league. Some of that's tied to the Patriots going, as Belichick said, kind of all in to win Super Bowls and what they perceive with Brady's, Brady's waning days. But a lot of it has to do with just bad roster management, bad selections, bad free agent picks. So, no, they wouldn't have won. But you can't say they wouldn't have won and just shrug. There's a reason their roster was bad in 2020, and it wasn't Tom Brady. And the Uh-oh. divorce proceedings. But the divorce is second place. Bill Belichick on one side, Tom Brady on the other. Who are you rolling with? Who are you going to stay friends with? And who are you going to brush <laughs> off when you see him in the supermarket? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's hard, right? Because... You, we all want to say, like, what was more uh, instrumental in the success? Was it Tom Brady or was it Bill Belichick? But, I, you know, it's their partnership together that worked so well for such a long amount of time. And frankly, it's interesting to me that Tom Brady was able to go on and win a Super Bowl immediately with another team because that makes this run even more unprecedented because we didn't see that from Joe Montana when he goes to Kansas City, right? I mean, that didn't really happen. And yeah, Peyton Manning won something with the Denver Broncos, but that was way more about the defense in 2015 than it was about Peyton Manning because he threw like 17 interceptions and I think had only nine touchdowns that season. So, I mean, I guess if I have to choose like today, uh, who do I want to be with when it comes to maybe winning a championship this year? It would definitely be Tom Brady because frankly, I, I don't see Mac Jones and that squad over there doing anything that would at this point even make it to the post season let alone the super bowl but i don't know i mean if i'm going to the supermarket i probably want to go with tom brady too because uh, he seems like a more fun guy to be around than bill belichick how does all of new england feel if you've been able to get catch like oh, yeah. a pulse of up there this is massive and bill is obviously going to protect this house and he has all his grudges as well uh it's it's definitely split i think for yesterday for the first time i actually found myself liking brady again for a little bit after that promo because of how incredible it was uh tom came out and he said you know he knows exactly what bill's going to be doing exactly what their entire week's going to look like what their game plan is i think he said how the wind is like i don't even know if that's possible yeah you guys have an open yeah you guys have an open end yeah very open so i I mean he, he knows everything about us which is a worry but also on the other side bill knows everything Mm -hmm. about tom uh i said yesterday on overreaction monday it feels as though the pats are going to get beat by 50 uh i don't (laughs) that was overreaction that was overreaction Mm -hmm. monday Monday. sure so now i think maybe i'm down to three scores i I still don't feel confident at all but max a competitor sure i think everybody's very competitive Mm -hmm. uh just like everybody is in the nfl which is what tom brady has you know been so dominant for so long is because of his competitive edge that he has over everybody so much so that he's willing to eat absolutely dog food yeah no yeah to and to go through terrible stretching routines and workouts every single day of his life put his body through pain when his resume says he could have retired 10 years ago and it all would have been good so i think that's also added into the competitive edge everybody says he's smart he's futuristic and everything well it's because he's so competitive that he's like how do i continue to do this and he looks into it with guerrero and the mm-hmm. entire tb12 team so i think that adds to it but i think mac has that competitive juice as well now Obviously, you have to be to be in the NFL, but he knows that this is a moment. He knows this is a moment. Oh, yeah. Andrew Luck, whenever we played Peyton, he knew. Andrew Luck knew this was a moment. Now, we won, but he knew that that was a big moment. And now everybody knew that the War of 1812, uh, Mm is the game of 1812. It was Sunday night football. He came back to Indianapolis. The coaching staff knew, like, hey. This is basically the guy that we cut, and this is the old regime. Uh, this is the old quarterback. This is the old face of this city. This guy will always be up. It was a different aura, almost. I wonder if that's how Mac and old Matty Patricia and Josh McDaniels yeah. and Bill Belichick, the people that, you know, are getting caught up in this whole, it was Tom, it was Bill, it was Tom, it was Bill. Like, they also have a, a little bit of a, hey, you too Absolutely. you know what i mean like there is so much into this thing the deeper you peel and the more layers you peel off the onion it's like oh that person could be fucking pissed off and let's not even think about john bon jovi no, mm-hmm. he'll oh, be there right. for sure john, john bon, bon i'm sure kenny chesney will probably show yeah. up Ooh, all the patriots brass will be there Wahlberg, i'm sure too <laughs> but what you just said makes me think even deeper in this thing brady knows what the offense is gonna do which makes me think they'll even have more of a disadvantage because he's just gonna be able to tell tampa's defense like hey when you come out in this this is what they're looking for 
forward. This is what they're going to be able to do. This is what they're going to try to do. And then he also obviously knows what the defense looks like because he practiced against it for 20 years so i i don't know now all of a sudden when i just said i my overreaction of 50 points has come down honestly as we speak about it it's going back up to 50 because the, it, our team just isn't where they should be. uh bill wasn't it you and your crappy roster the reason why tom wanted out <laughs> and your <laughs> offer of a contract that you knew that he would rebuff in 2019 in the summer <laughs> Oh, until he finally man. threw up his hands and said, I'm going to be out of here. Th- those two things together, yes. Mm. I mean, the option was, he waived his options. His options were, hey, do you want this half-eaten candy bar? I mean, this is how Bill is really framing it. You know, he, he looked at his options and decided to go elsewhere. Well, what was the option the Patriots were offering him? He had said, I want the full candy bar, and I want to enjoy it for a couple of years. I want it to be a yummy one. Mm. So is it a happy here's a happy eating candy bar you can eat for a year. The only thing is, if you really think about the grudges that we just chatted about, there's only one person that's on the field. Yeah, mm-hmm. that can you now Mac has to prove whatever Mac can have that whole thing. Sure. But in the whole, you know, we just talked about Josh McDaniels and Matt Patricia mm-hmm. and even Kraft and Bill. They're all on the sideline. OK, yeah. so they can scheme, they can divide, they can do everything that they've done for so long and be so successful. But will that extra, you know, I see Tom already celebrating on the field, right? I mean, you already see him looking at oh, that. Yeah. You already see. Oh, him. yeah. You already see that happening, right? Absolutely. Oh, my God. I mean, God. this whole week, it's like a funeral week. It's like I'm just waiting. <laughs> to get no, it's homecoming. To get it's a homecoming. It's supposed to be happy. A homecoming will be for 15 um, minutes. In his 20 seasons with the Patriots, Tom Brady experienced it all. From fourth quarter comebacks to six Super Bowl rings. One thing the Pats QB didn't take a lot was hits, especially when in that red practice jersey. Well, this Sunday, plenty of his old Pats teammates will have that chance for the first time. Whether it's veterans like Devin McCourty and Dante Hightower, or young guys in Dietrich Wise and Chase Winovich, this Sunday could be the first time they put their hands on TB12. All week, the defense has played off if they look forward to taking away Brady's piece in the pocket, but still, they shared what they picked up from their time with the legend in New England. I know better than to, uh, to give Tom any, uh, any fuel. And he's a great, he's a, you know, honestly, he's, he's someone that I really look up to. I've managed to learn so many lessons uh, during our time together and just from an inspiration standpoint and from a, a leadership standpoint and just as a way of operating and a way of existing. I mean, there's few people that I've ever met that are cooler or do it better than Tom. NFL fans are eagerly waiting for Tom Brady's big return to Gillette Stadium this weekend. But if you want to go to the game, you're going to have to shell out a whole lot of cash. Ticket prices are soaring ahead of Sunday night's Patriots-Bucks game with ticket prices averaging $1,640. It's on the Mount Rushmore of expensive ticket prices. In fact, it's the most expensive regular season game in Boston sports history and is second to just game six of the 2011 Stanley Cup Finals when it comes to prices. And with just a few days left, they could go even higher. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day. Thanks for watching.